What is virtual land and why is it so important in the metaverse? It doesn't matter which metaverse, it can be Upland, Sandbox, Decentraland, or any other metaverse. The foundation of every single one of them is virtual land. What makes it so important that someone would pay almost half a million dollars to be Snoop Dogg's virtual neighbor in the Sandbox metaverse? I'm YK2012, founder of the Upland Guide. On this channel, you can learn everything you need to know about the Upland metaverse, tutorials, strategy, tips, tricks, and a lot more. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. The best analogy that I can give for virtual land is that of a website. Each website has a unique domain name, and all of these websites are what make up the internet. Any website you go to, whether it be google.com, nike.com, or upland.me for the Upland metaverse, you are entering into a two-dimensional experience where you can learn more about that brand. On a website like Nike, you can also have a two-dimensional shopping experience. You can look at the metaverse as the next evolution of the internet, with all of these virtual lands being unique domain names or websites in the metaverse. Now, unlike with the internet where there is only one internet, there are going to be many different metaverses. Some of these metaverses are closed like Roblox, and others are open. Upland is part of a movement that is looking to create an open metaverse, which enables you to travel and move your assets between many different metaverses, creating a layer of interoperability. Now, each plot of land is going to be your unique domain name within the metaverse, where people will be able to travel to your plot of land, and that will be their entrance into the experience. Now, compared to a website like Nike, where today you're browsing through a two-dimensional catalog, in the metaverse, by entering into this plot of land, you can enter into a three-dimensional experience. Now, as consumers in the real world, we enter into a store and it's a three-dimensional experience. We can see things in 3D, we can try things on, we can interact with other people in that shop. And that is part of what the metaverse is trying to recreate. That three-dimensional experience that is a lot more exciting than some of these two-dimensional experiences where it's kind of like flipping through a virtual catalog. Now, it's not just retail experience, it's also social interactions. Throughout the pandemic, people have become accustomed to two-dimensional virtual experiences like Zoom, but having the ability to interact with people in a three-dimensional setting using a three-dimensional avatar is something that is a lot more relatable to us in the real world. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a big business looking to sell things to people or you're trying to build a brand or you're just being you and you want to invite friends over to your home. Owning a plot of land in a metaverse is going to be your access point to that and something that is going to be extremely important moving forward as the metaverse continues to develop. When the internet was developed, most people didn't think that they would need a website. Social media wasn't invented yet, and everyone has their own unique username or handle in many of these different platforms. But now is the time where we can look forward, and in this next evolution of the internet being the metaverse, it is extremely clear that having your own presence or domain name in the form of virtual land is something that is going to be extremely important. Now, why do I think that the Upland Metaverse is the best place to get started if you are looking to learn more about a metaverse or looking to purchase some virtual land? Not only is Upland mapped to the real world, so there is that element of relatability between the addresses that you are looking to purchase in the virtual world and what we know in real life. On top of that, the land in the Upland Metaverse is extremely affordable for someone who's just starting out. Upland continues to release new cities on a regular basis, and that can be the best time to jump in and start purchasing land, which is discounted for new players. When signing up for Upland, you get 4,500 OPEX for free to get started, and that's enough to buy your first property. If you sign up with our referral code, we also offer many bonuses, so check the link in the upper right-hand corner to learn more about that. If you want to learn more about getting started in Upland, make sure to continue watching these videos down below as the Upland Guide has all the information you need in order to help you get started. Now, I mentioned at the top of this video that someone had paid almost half a million dollars to be Snoop Dogg's virtual neighbor, and that's a pretty big deal. Just like in the real world, your neighbors are important, the same thing is also true in the metaverse. The identity that you create for yourself by means of the land that you own the home that you defined, the things that your virtual avatar wears, this is all an expression of yourself or the virtual self that you create for yourself in the metaverse. There are people in this world who are materialistic and value things that they own. There are people that value community and the neighbors that they have or the neighborhood that they live in. All of this is true in the real world and also virtually. 
Unlike on social media where you can go and post a picture of yourself with any car on Instagram and say that it's yours, there's no way to actually know if it is. However, with many metaverses and this virtual land, which are essentially NFTs that are written on the blockchain, it is publicly verifiable if you own a specific asset or a plot of land. I think the best way to understand a specific person is to look at the things that they purchase with their money and therefore value the most. Having all of this information, which is public knowledge on the blockchain, provides a unique opportunity for people to look further into your identity and see the things that you purchase, own, and value. And all of this starts with owning virtual land.